So yeah, cool. Uh, okay, so let's move to the next one. Another thing that Victor Franco talked about that kept him going right, was the const- was love. Mm. And and I love this because ignite the human spirit to love and to yeah, overcome. Yeah, yeah. Right? So so let's talk about this. And love was one of the things that got me out of depression also. But I want to read this particular passage right, where he says that he was on the road. He was working very hard. They were beating him up. It was icy cold. They had almost no warm clothes at all. And at this stage... As we stumbled on for miles, slipping on icy spots, supporting one another, dragging one another onward, and nothing was said. But we both knew each of us were thinking of his wife. Occasionally, I looked at the sky where the stars were fading and the pink light of the morning was beginning to spread behind a dark bank of clouds. But my mind clung on to my wife's image, imagining it with uncanny acuteness. I heard her answering me, saw her smile, her frank and encouraging look. Real or not, her look was then more luminous than the sun, which was beginning to rise. A thought transfixed me. For the first time in my life, I saw the truth as it is set into song by so many poets, proclaimed as the final wisdom by so many thinkers. The truth that love is the ultimate and the highest goal to which man can aspire. Then I grasped the meaning of the greatest secret that human poetry and human thought and belief have to impart. The salvation of man is true love, and in love. I understood how a man who has nothing left in the world can still know bliss, be it only for a brief moment in the, comp- in the contemplation of his beloved. Man, I got goosebumps reading that, man. That is just one of the richest passages on love I've ever read. Um, I know Ita maybe not have much experience, but I was still going to ask you anyway. Yep. Uh, what are your thoughts about this message? Um... Okay, I really have nothing much to say. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah. So I, I feel that love is a very important, it's a primal, actually I feel that love is a balance of both our primal needs and our logical mind, mm-hmm. right? In a, in a sense that um, naturally uh, affection and belonging to something is something that is wired into our DNA, mm. right? So having somebody that, uh, that you can feel emotionally loved to, I, I feel that... Um, of course, it's going to ground you or something. I'm just going to speak nonsense right now. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense, right? So it makes sense. Yeah. What Yuta is talking about how mm. it chemically and biologically, we are kind of wired to have a connection with, with someone else. I think that's important. Even last year, I felt lonely because uh, a mistake I made was just cooping myself up, right? Mm-hmm. Not making connections. And it's not just love in a romantic sense, yeah, but also in a general a, sense. Yeah, some, sometimes we have to prephrase it. Yeah. Love yeah. doesn't just mean like, oh, being in love yeah. in a relationship. Yeah. It's, it's also about uh, whether is it to... It's the unconditional love. Yeah. I think that's what we are trying to strive for. Sure. It's the ability to to feel for people. I would even argue, right? You might say I'm biased, right? But I don't care. Because yeah. we're all biased, right? Mm. I would argue that the purpose of life is to love and be loved in return. Mm. That the mm. essence of life is love. And I think Victor Frankl was referencing the fact that many religions, spirituality, thinkers, philosophers do say la, that we are love is the highest essence of being law. Mm. That um it's it's just, I wish I could describe it better, but I cannot. Yeah. Um, I wish I could, but I hope you feel us because right. uh, I guess analogies I can give is even in my darkest moments, right? It was that unconditional love that I experienced from the dogs, from the volunteers, from my mm. parents that drew me out of that dark space. I, I, I just felt that. And in my life also, at the times where I receive the most fulfillment and connection is when I'm feeling love. Like, and it always the paycheck, biggest paycheck it's just hard to describe when you look into the eyes of like a kid and, and you, you serve them and they give you back their gratitude in return, right? You just feel your spirit in that moment. You just complete. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I realized that also is the, the, the emotional fulfillment is very, it's very hard to describe, right? Yeah. But if you, if you can show whether is it romantically, whether is it yeah. uh, service or stuff like that, when you, when you offer, uh, when, when you offer your heart to people and it's mm. reciprocated, right? In yeah. return, you, you feel like you feel complete. Mm. I feel I think that's the that's the best word to talk about. Mm. And I, I feel that human beings are always on the path of trying to feel complete. Right. And love is the oh, best way to talk about it. That's a good way yeah. to describe it. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something. Either. Right. So at this, at this point in time, I would like to do a PSA. Yes, uh, doing we, that. We, <laughs> <laughs> we are not telling you to go and get a couple, get a partner, or whatever nonsense. But uh, if you think that we are attractive, please <laughs> slide into our DMs. Uh, are we, are we speaking? He does already speaking for himself. <laughs> right. Stop, stop. He does his simply PSAs. 
but but yeah, I mean, uh, you can argue like that is not our desperation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but whatever. You're shooting a shot. I think that's fine. I'm not gonna judge you for that. <laughs>